welcome to my lab. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to test magic eye tubes such as the 6E5 tube on my Precision Model 1012 tube tester. First thing we have to do is turn the tester on which I already did. It's warming up because this tester has a tube in it. We'll go ahead and flip this over to the tube test position here. So now the first step just like testing any vacuum tube on this tester is going to be to find the tube on the scroll chart here, the roll chart and I have already located 6E5 on the roll chart. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set up the uh, test settings for the triode portion of this tube. So the triode, we have switch A on 1, switch B on 1, switch D, switch C is 25, switch D is 24, and E is going to be on 7 for the filament. And now we're going to put the tube in. Let the tube warm up. Our tube should now be illuminating, and it is. So the next step now is going to be to perform the shorts test. So we have to look here, 1 and 6. So 6 should not have a short because the filament's already lighting. So we're going to observe our shorts light here, and we're going to watch for that light. That light, it's okay if it blinks, but it should not stay on. So here we go. Okay, as you can see, this tube does not have any shorts. So now we're going to move on to our levers for our emissions test. So now we should have switch 2 is going to go up to the Y position, and switch 3 is going to be in the Z position. Just like that. And now we're ready to uh, press our read meter button and observe the tube. And it's in the good here. It's good. I don't know. I hope you can see that on the camera. I'll turn the light off here in case that affects anything. But we are in the good range here. So we, should, we have a good reading on the meter. So our triode's good. But we want to see if this tube's actually going to light up. So for that, we'll put these levers down. And we're going to go ahead and look in our book here on page 6 for eye tube test. Eye test, page 6. Okay, page 6. Okay, so it says it's switch. We did the shorts test already. So now we should have throw the first of the two levers indicated under the Y setting in this example, lever 2 to the Z position. Okay. So we should have 2 and 4. Like that. We read the meter. And we can see right now our tube's glowing. Can you see the eye tube lighting up? Hope you can see that in the camera, but it's right up here. Our eye is glowing green. So that's good. So that indicates the eye tube's good. And now we want to read to see if the eye tube is going to be read the other way, and it does. See, it's open right now. And now it's closed. See, closed tube, open tube. So this magic eye tube is testing good. So that's it. That was just a real quick demonstration of how to test a magic eye vacuum tube, which are getting kind of rare, these eye tubes. So that's why it's good to, if you find them, to be able to test them. And we have tested them on my Precision Model 1012 tube and battery tester. Tube Master. And this is a really good vacuum tester for testing tubes and it works very well. So, uh, and that's it. I just wanted to do that quick video because I haven't made a video in a while. And I do plan to be making some more videos. I'm doing some video editing practice on my computer so I'll be able to make some decent videos now. You can tell that I have an intro in my videos, which I never had before. So, uh, that's definitely a lot better now. And in the future, stay tuned for more videos to come. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on different topics. If you have any topics here in my shop that you would like me to cover in a video, or if you have any questions on anything or anything related to electronics, please ask, and I will do my best to help you out. Because this stuff uh, is something that everyone